sources from whom no health advice should be taken. Bojo Banton has seemingly responded, pointing out that he was not among those who were intellectually deficient. Banton also castigated some members of the music fraternity, labeling them, among other things, as sellouts, which Cartel then rejected in a series of social media posts last night. It all started on Wednesday when Cartel stated in an Instagram story post that most of the island's entertainers were poorly educated and as a consequence ought not to be relied upon for any health-related advice. Entertainers are among the least educated in society, most of it don't like that, and therefore are among the least qualified people on earth to give medical advice for anything or against anything, Cartel had written. Do your own research and decide for yourself what's best for you. Come to me when you want to wind your waist or break out in a party. That's where I'm the expert, the romping shop artist added. But Boju Banton took time out yesterday morning to declare unequivocally during a half hour monologue titled Man Chat that his job in music was not to entertain anyone like a minstrel, but that he is a singer and a player of instrument as exposed in the Bible. When I come for sell nothing, the Lord bless me from me at 19 because I stay true to the order of what say, singers and players of instrument. And also stating that entertainers are clowns. He's a singer and a player of instrument. While Buju did not explicitly state why he referred to his colleagues as sellouts, his consternation seemingly stems from the fact that several members of the dancehall fraternity have joined the government of Jamaica's Every Vax Counts campaign while others have remained silent or have openly stated their support for the vaccination. It was also widely reported that Vibes Cartel had taken his dose of the vaccine and that some members of the government were open to the incarcerated DJ joining the campaign. Bojo, Tanya Stevens, Kabaka Pyramid and Chronix have on the other hand voiced their objection to the mandatory vaccination. Meanwhile, Bojo also poured out his wrath upon the Jamaican media, all of whom he said, except for one radio station, seem to have also been bought, locked stock and barrel. According to him, he not only disliked but was mistrustful of Jamaican journalists and that mistrust dated back to his early days in the music industry. Declaring that his anger was a righteous anger, Bojo said that there were non-progressive elements who were trying to sabotage his attempts to educate the people on Instagram. Remember, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe and notification button to keep up to date on our newest and latest videos. Also, remember to check out dancehallmag.com for your current news on dancehall culture.